Good afternoon and welcome to the 2024 AHR Expo in Chicago. My name is Amalia Delianis and I am the editor of Plumbing Engineer Magazine. Right now I am standing in Manhattan's brand new booth and I have to say it looks amazing. Today I will be speaking with Ken Ely. He's the HVAC and Channel Product Manager at Navian. And he will be talking about one of their brand new products, the NPF Hydro Furnace. Welcome, Ken. Well, thank you, thanks for having us. Thank you for joining me today. Right, my pleasure. How is the NPF Hydro Furnace um, different than other Air Force applications, appliances? Really, we, we looked at it, uh, a niche in the market really that needed to be filled, right? So the research we did, and have done is telling us that there are opportunities in the market that we could improve upon where they are today. So what we took is our basic technology, what we're good at, what we lead the market on is heating water and found a way in order to improve upon the residential furnace using that technology. Could you describe a little bit what is so unique about the hydro furnace? So what's so unique about the hydro furnace is that, well, we're not firing the gas in the heat exchanger as we've done as an industry for a hundred years. Okay. We're taking the, the burning of the gas out of the airflow entirely, which makes the unit much more quiet, right? So this is basically the heart of the unit, okay. right? So normally in a normal furnace, you'd see the heat exchanger in the airstream. We've taken it entirely out of the airstream. So we're burning gas totally unique and out of the airstream, which makes the unit much quieter. This is one of the quietest units you can buy in the market today. So we're able by using our heat exchanger to heat hot water and circulate it through a fin tube coil, we're able to vary our capacity from 15 to 100% capacity, much larger range than anyone else in the market can do today, okay? So it's two capacity sides. We have a 60,000 BTU unit that can go from 9,000 BTUs up to 60,000 BTUs, and a 100,000 BTU unit that can go from 14,000 up to 100,000 BTU. Robust airflow, all variable speed technology in this unit, all ECM technology as well, so electrically efficient, all model, models 97 AFU, all models also ultra low NOx compliant as well. We know ultra low NOx is a emissions requirement from California that exists today, but other parts of the country are looking at adopting it today. So all of our competitors have special units just for ultra low NOx. Every one of these furnaces are ultra low NOx compliant. So there's a great green story as well. What percentage efficiency does the hydro furnace have? Every model is 97% AFUE, 97% efficient. Okay, wow, that's great. All the great features of this unit, it works with a traditional, conventional one or two stage thermostat, all right? And so all the interface, all the setup, et cetera, is done with our EasyNav interface right here. So this is a backlit LCD that will walk the contractor through the setup wizard. They can go through and set up the temperature, discharge temperature, return air temperature, the airflow for cooling, the airflow for heating. All the airflow adjustments are entirely independent and can be configured by the contractor. Oh, wow. Can this information be accessed wirelessly anywhere or not yet? No, not yet. This, okay. is, this is right at the unit itself. Are there any key features that you'd like to point out that would be of interest to the installers? Sure, for the installers, conventional side return, electrical left or right hand side, gas left or right hand side. It has an external trap mounted on the outside of the unit. Remove the clip, clean the trap, really easy to get to. Something they do annual clean and tunes is always go and clean the flame rod. This is one of the easiest, most accessible flame rods in the market. Two screws in the front, pull it out, clean the flame rod, put it back in. So if you're talking about annual clean and tune or maintenance, you can get in there and clean the trap and clean that flame rod really quickly, really simply. So it does use water, so you can manually fill it here with water, or you can use our auto fill function with a quarter inch copper line, it will automatically fill. So this will hold the water for over a year. It doesn't use the water, some of water can evaporate. And so we have uh, indicators for water level. It'll also send an indicator to the thermostat to let the consumer know if the water level gets too low, it'll turn on a light. Are there any functions within uh, the, the panel that are designed to help the installer walk through the process of installing it or anything? Oh, absolutely. It has what we call the setup wizard. So it will walk them through step by step and they, they have, can set their airflow, they can set their temperatures, they can set uh, CFM, they can set it up for heat pump, dual fuel, they can set it up for air conditioning, and they have to walk through the system. The system will not let you finish unless you go through and set it up correctly. And there's also a diagnostic uh, wizard as well, 
that will walk you through and, and give you the last 10 codes. It doesn't give you secret trouble codes. It actually tells you what the issue and tell you what the solution is as well. This is normally a green backlit LCD. If there's a trouble, it turns red. So it grabs your eye right away. And you can see I showed the kickstand. If you're setting this up and configuring, you really don't want to be down like this, right, on a job site. So we added the kickstand to it to make it much simpler. Yeah, so you can look at it better. And can you adjust the font size on the screen? <laughs> no, we're not there yet. We're not there yet, absolutely. But the airflow, robust airflow up to an inch of static, uh -huh. your three ton unit can do one and a half tons through three tons and your 100,000 BTU can do two tons through five tons of AC. All set up for dual fuel applications as well for those you know, areas that we're talking about electrification today, dual fuel is an interim step to get us there. Dual fuel is when you add a heat pump on the discharge of the side and you can switch between a gas furnace heating or heat pump heating. So then you can adjust your balance points when you want to switch from one to another. That's amazing. Is it easy to join the two systems together and how do they like switch from one to another if you have So this? your your switch over is normally done from your thermostat and most okay. thermostats today will give you that option. It's called balance point when to switch from one to the other. But our discharge is traditional sizes, traditional coils fit on it. We give them a full perimeter duct flange, which contractors like so they can hook up their ductwork, make it really airtight uh, connections. You talked a little bit about the configurations, but could you repeat those a little bit? Sure, we have upflow sizes? configurations, as you see here today. So we bring in the air, we can bring it in the side, or we can bring it in the bottom, and we're discharging out the top. Uh -huh. We also have a model that's horizontal, that lays down. It's a horizontal left model. Same insides, just reconfigured for that horizontal airflow. That's used a lot in attics and crawl spaces. Now I'm going to look ahead. What can PHCP pros expect from Navient? This year, you see our system furnace in the booth. So what we're adding is a unit that will not only space heat, but also heat domestic hot water, or also do radiant panel heating at the same time. So that unit we're looking at fourth quarter this year will be out. And then you were looking at split system AC and heat pump first quarter next year. And this uh, system right now, is it currently available? It's available in the marketplace today. Fantastic. Very competitive warranties, oh, basically perfect. with yes. the rest of the industry. Mm -hmm. Limited lifetime with registration on the combustion heat exchanger, 10 years with registration on all other parts. Pretty, pretty expected in the market today. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time and have a good show. Thank you for the opportunity. Take care. You too.